Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Altcoin Buzz Trading. You're still in a bull market, so let's get right to it. This is a very, very good market environment. We don't get too many like this in crypto, especially, you know, in the past couple of years, really. It's been a while since we've been fully bullish. This is a fully bullish market. You want to learn to take full advantage of these situations. Bitcoin doing amazing. Um, pretty much this whole time, even since down here, Bitcoin is very rarely had a lower low on the chart just generally and so now we're up here at the 44,000 level I think we're going a little bit higher towards this 48,000 level um maybe we'll see a larger consolidation or some other type of uh some other sort of structure up there and uh but anyway right now if, if you did want to get in it's very extended Bitcoin has come up substantially our last alert level was here at about this 38,000 level and we're up uh, 15, 16%. That's quite a bit for Bitcoin to be up. And uh, But it doesn't, doesn't look like we're waiting, ready to stall out yet either. Looks like we're we're still continuing the move. Um, if you wanted to get in, your, your way to get in is to be underneath the consolidation. So <clears throat> even as we try to break out or are broken out or are lower in the consolidation, you want to try to find the low of any consolidation and then find that low and that's your stop. So you have a couple of different kinds of consolidations. You, you generally have rectangles of varying types. Um, I don't know how I can draw an angled rectangle, but you have this type of a rectangle, and then you have an angled rectangle. If you imagine this going downward at a slope, that means in the sloped one, the lows are lower. And obviously the, the rectangle, they're not. So great information for you there. <laughs> uh, here's a good example. So here's kind of a sloped rectangle that's put in for here. So if you're trying to buy this decline, just using this as an example, if you're trying to buy this decline, um, it's hard to buy, you know, right here, you get stopped out immediately. You, if you buy on the breakout, then you get that low stop of 2.8%, you know, whatever it is, right? Once you start to break out. When you're horizontal though, and these lately have been horizontal, when you're horizontal and move over here to the two hour chart, what you can do is, is find the, the kind of the low. So here we move up, then we start to stall out. You can kind of use one of these candles because notice they're not very vertical from one another. So to me, this is part of the consolidation. That can be your low, okay, right there. And then I get this big old weird doji right there. So this can be your low if you want to, if you consider this a horizontal, that's gonna give you right now a 1.73% stop loss. If you wanna give it some wiggle room, that's fine. You can give it like two and a half percent, give or take. And uh, you can stay in the game that way. You can also put a profit taking stop loss in these areas too. But right now we don't have any topping signals. I don't wanna get prematurely out of this market on any kind of a shakeout. Um, let's take a look at some altcoins that are doing pretty good. We're gonna look at Solana and Polkadot, D-O-T. Solana just came up and tested our 66.53. Now in the markets right now, it does appear that the layer one tokens are moving and this is definitely a layer one token. So let's hope this can get going today. Volume already today is pretty big. The only flaw is this one red candle, which is up there with these two larger green candles. But my volume aggregation tool shows that it's basically a one-off and let's hope it stays a one-off. And then we can finally break through the 66.53. This is a beautiful base. Uh, we should have a monster move out of this once it finally breaks out. Just we're not there exactly yet. Could happen Could happen very soon, though. Keep an eye out for that. And then DOT. DOT is in a great position. Uh, last time I checked, this was buyable. It's still buyable. It's, you really don't want to buy more than 5% out from a breakout point. So this is a very traditional breakout point for DOT of 5.89. And we are within 2.5% of that. Volume is really good. Uh, two days ago, yesterday, and today. Look at today's volume. Beautiful volume. And look at my two-hour volume aggregation tool. You're not seeing any sellers in this market. My sellers are indicated by this orange, and they are downtrending. So, uh, so far, so good on DOT. And I think those are probably two of the more better opportunities to watch out for. There's some other ones that are moving. Some are extended, so I won't cover those. But these are the two ones right now that I think have the most potential. They're really putting most of their capital into these layer ones in the top 20 market cap. There's a couple outliers, but they're really focusing here, it seems. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow on Altcoin Buzz Trading.